This is a roundup of four audio interfaces that we like to recommend for recording guitar in a home studio. When we say guitar, we mean acoustic, electric, and bass. Note that you can buy these interfaces via the Sweetwater links in the description, which helps us out yet at no extra cost to you. Thanks for trusting our recommendations. Let's get into it. Our fourth pick is the Universal Audio Apollo Twin and Twin X. The Apollo Twin series, the MK2 is the one pictured, is a high-end interface capable of handling semi or even fully professional recording jobs. And while we wouldn't recommend it for beginners, anyone who is using a cheaper interface but wants to upgrade to something faster and more intuitive will find the Apollo Twin to be a good fit. Number three, the Motu M2. Motu includes some upscale features that you don't get in either of the next two recommendations, though it's a lesser known brand in our circles. The LCD screen for measuring levels is the most recognizable upgrade, with an indicator for both inputs and outputs, four total. These make it easier to see when a channel is clipping to monitor gain levels. Our second overall pick is the PreSonus AudioBox i2. The main difference between the Scarlett and the PreSonus AudioBox is that the AudioBox supports a MIDI connection. The AudioBox is also far cheaper, going new for about $130. For smaller, non-professional recording needs, it's one of my favorite recommendations, especially since I've had the chance to record guitar with it in my home studio. Our top pick is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, or the Solo version. The Scarlett series by Focusrite comes in two different versions that are good options for in-home guitar recording, the 2i2 and the Solo. Scarlett's current iteration of the 2i2 is the third generation, which has two preamps, each with a combo XLR and line-in instrument connection. The Solo only has one XLR and one instrument cable connection, each with a separate preamp. The most important feature you'll need to consider is the number of inputs and the number of outputs. In most of our recommendations, there are two inputs that can handle either an instrument cable or XLR connection for a microphone, or both. Outputs are usually two, allowing you to send your signal to two studio monitors in a stereo connection. You should also be aware of gain control on each channel and then a master volume, as well as the ability to adjust monitor volume, headphone output control. We'd also recommend a device with a mix knob, so you can adjust the volume between your input and playback, perhaps if you're playing guitar along with a music track on your computer. Most audio interfaces use a USB connection that's class compliant with Windows and Mac computers. The other less common and more expensive connection you'll see is Thunderbolt which is currently up to Thunderbolt 3, though most are backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 1 and 2 as well. If you go with a Thunderbolt audio interface, you'll be better off running it on a Mac. Given the context of these recommendations, recording just your guitar from time to time, we wouldn't recommend spending too much, unless you want something with a professional edge like the Apollo Twin. To get an audio interface for recording guitar, Spending somewhere in the $200 to $300 range should be adequate. If not, you could go lower and still get the job done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.